with the size matter and we have made our way to Jacksonville Florida to the RV show we're so excited to be here it's the Sun is shining but I'm still a little bit chilly <laughs> so maybe we need to go further south but we'll get there we are uh, at the campers in RV Center where they have the Rockwood uh, product and we've got a number of viewers that are interested in seeing this so we have done the research and we've seeked out the trailer and we're going to show it to you Today we're going to do a tour of the Rockwood Mini Light 2104S. This is a very cool trailer and I can't wait to show it to you. But remember everything we're telling you is just mine and Corey's opinion. We ask a lot of questions and we do a lot of research. One of those places that you can go to as well is called rvreviews.net and I'll put a link to it in the description so that you can check it out too. New, used, if you're looking at buying, you wanna check them out and get all the information and research that they have done too. So, without further ado, let's check this one out. As always, we're gonna start here at the front and this is kind of a unique front in that they've got this really cool window and you'll see in the construction video that you can link to at the end, uh, I tell you a little more about that. And while you're there, don't forget to hit subscribe, give us a like, we love having you around. But anyways, this window is uh, made of automotive glass, so that a lot of people were worried about these windows. Not only do they look cool, but they're also strong. You get a uh, rock guard at the front. It's the average material that you'll see on entry level trailers is this. You get uh, your batteries here, two 30 pound uh, propane tanks, an electric jack, yay. Uh, and let's carry on around this side and see what we can find. Uh, you do get um, manual stabilizer jacks, um, no big deal. Go on YouTube, there's lots of ideas, you know, hooking drills on to move those up and down. And then let's come around to the side. Okay. So this is the first storage bay. And first of all, I got to show you that it is on the magnet system. So I do like that for holding up the doors. And I mean, it's not the hugest storage area. And what I did notice is that right now what you're looking at is underneath the Murphy bed. And you can see that it's not completely closed in there. So I don't know if that's a problem for you or not. You can still put all your stuff under there. Uh, here is your uh, water fill. And then we've got the slide. The slide mechanisms, a rack and pinion, which is completely appropriate, electric. You've got the, your flaps here and your bulb here to uh, get it sealing. Looking up high, you can see you get the topper, which we think is important. Also, while you're up there, take a look at the little ease trough and the spout that pushes the water away from your rig. And it is a curved roof, so that water's gonna shed for you. Uh, let's go around and see what else. Okay, so this is inside the, the uh, slide. So that's interesting, and it's really tall. Take a look up in there. There's a lot of, you can put some tall stuff in that space, or long stuff anyways. Um, and then there's another one here, which, you know, there's a lot of space there. And again, I mean, you can see the drawer space, or, ed, you know, the edges of the drawers, you can see them. So it's not like a fully enclosed space, but, you know, I don't know that that's good or bad, it's just different. You're getting frameless windows. And uh, just so you know that I believe on this particular model, these are single pane, but you can, as an option, get dual pane windows. So that's a very nice thing. Coming around, down here, uh, this is where your, you're gonna hook up your sewer. You've got your valves here and the gray over there. Now the tanks are enclosed and they do have heating pads that you can put on them but i'm seeing that the valves themselves are not enclosed 
So moving over here, you've got your city water connect. This looks like it's for antifreeze, so it must be for like winterizing. You've got your black flush, you've got cable, satellite, and here is your 30 amp connection. So coming around to the back, you've got a ladder for your fully walkable roof. And I did have an owner come by who was a bit of a larger guy. And he said he had no problem going up on his roof and he didn't have any flexion or anything like that. So I always love talking to owners because those are real people reviews, right? They've, they've used this rig. You also get your uh, outdoor shower. You get a two inch receiver. So that's gonna be for like your bike rack or something like that. That's what we put there. We always carry our bikes everywhere we go. So you can put that there. You get your um, spare tire. And I like that it's over here and off to the side because that makes more room for whatever you're gonna put in there. It's better than having it underneath because when it's underneath, it's out of the way and that's great until you need it and you're in that situation and you're on the side of the road and you gotta climb underneath to find your spare tire. So this is a great place for it. Over to the passenger side, you can see that you get this quite large awning. It's gonna have the LED and it'll be electric. You get outdoor speakers, frameless windows, you get a, a hookup that you can bring your TV outside if you want, but these are really popular trailers. And we were just talking with another owner and he was telling us that he never brings his outside because it brings all the bugs over. And I'm thinking that's probably true. So what else? So uh, the torsion axle, you'll get information on that in the construction video. You've got some aluminum uh, wheels with the Castle Rock ST tire. Uh, it says ST205 slash 75R14. I don't know what that means, but for those of you who want tire information, I hope that helps you out some. Um, what else do we got? Some more uh, satellite or cable hookups, some electrical. Then the other thing is there's this little rail here, and I wasn't 100% sure what it was, but they tell me that you can hook a table on there or a barbecue or those kinds of things. So it just helps you to move some cooking and some things outdoors. Kind of cool. Let's go look at the storage up front here. So this is the other side to the front storage underneath the Murphy bed. And then there is another little compartment here and right next to it is your hookup for solar so if you want to put some panels on top or if you wanted to go get a portable panel or those kinds of things you could hook it up to this rig and use some solar power as well so that's kind of cool let's go take a look at the door and the steps if you've been watching which I hope you have <laughs> you know that I love these steps I love them because they're sturdy, they're kind of stretched out, and they're just so simple and easy to put in and out. Once they're up, they're up. They're not falling out on you. They're safe and secure. When you get there, it is so simple to put them back down. I'm no bodybuilder, and I can put those up and down no problem at all. Let's check out the door. Okay. So it is a friction door. I love those. It does have a stopper here. You get your screen. You get a window in the door, which I love. And uh, this is a nice, decent screen that's going to close on itself. But I saw something that I have to tell you about. Okay. Gotta love the door. Gotta love the window in the door. Gotta love this privacy blind in that window. The problem with it is that you can't close it from inside because the screen is always in the way. So you do have to come outside, pull your privacy blind down, then go back down, <laughs> open up your screen, put it in place, and now shut your door. Just a bit cumbersome, but it's cool that it has one. So let's go in and check it out. Come on. This is a pretty spacious little trailer. So this is the Rockwood Mini Lake 2104S. 
it has a Murphy bed. So first of all, I mean, it's a little bit deep, but we could put some pillows there. So you get a couch. This is a small trailer, remember, and I'll get you all the numbers and stuff, but this is nice. Does it have a footrest? Oh, it does. Watch this, everybody. So I'll show you the TV in a minute, but it'll come out so that you could sit here. This is a big couch. Okay, down here, you have USB, you have plugins, uh, window. Let's take a look at these blinds. They're pretty decent. And okay, you get one of these. I don't, I don't love them because, I mean, I guess it would be fine for a drink or something, but I've got all this space. If I wanted this as workspace, it just, it just doesn't do it because it's off to the side. It would need to be out here. So it's just not one of my favorites, but you might love it. What else? It has drawer storage here and ooh, closet storage in there. Okay, it's a little bit far back there. Like you'd really have to basically, and I'll show you, when you pull down the Murphy bed, you'd have to climb up on the bed in order to access this because it's, once it's down, it's not fully walkable. But the space is there, you just have to climb up to use it. So you get the same thing over here with the drawer and the closet space. So now I'm going to show you how this bed works because this is such a cool bed. It allows you to have a seating area, couch kind of thing as well as pull down the bed. Now, one of my main concerns are that I like to have a made up bed. I don't want to have to pull over or it's late or whatever. I'm tired and now I got to make up beds. I got to put stuff down. But the owner that came in here was telling us that he leaves the bedding in place. That's a game changer for me. So that makes a Murphy bed way more usable. All I gotta do is pull it down, my bedding's in place, I go to bed. So I'm gonna show you how this works. This couch, you just pull this little thing and it flips down nice and flat. Climb up here, undo the lock, and then this frame here is the leg. Now you don't wanna pinch your fingers in there, so be careful. Not that I did that, cause I didn't. There's your mattress. There you go. So you get this whole bed. There's electrical up there. There's a shelf, my book, my phone, my glass of water. That beautiful window is there. It's big. You can, I love it. It is so easy. Okay. So now I just want to show you how easy this is to go up. So I pick it up from here. And up it goes. Like really, that's not too hard, even for me. If I can do this, you can do this. There it goes. You lock her in place. Right. Oops. There we go. And then you just lift this up. Ta-da! So I also wanted to show you, if you so chose to leave this bed out, you could close it off in this curtain and you can see that it does not block the doorway or really use up much space at all if you want to leave the bed down. So you could, but it's easy to put up too and since you can leave your bedding on it, I think it's very cool. So let's move on. Here is whatever you want it to be. It could be shelves, it could be a closet with the rod, or it could be both, right? These are removable, so you could have like a shirt closet and then shelves. You could do it any way you want it. So I do like that. Then moving over to the dinette area. So then here is your dinette, and this is a significant dinette for a small trailer. It's a U-shaped dinette. It's going to make down into a bed with this table. Um, I'll try and find another video where I have put this type of table down for you and I'll put it up in a card so that you can click on that. Um, the cushions seem comfortable. I do like the window. 
uh, table. Looks nice. It's uh, got a wood edge to it and a laminate top. Um, so my only concern about that would be water getting in there, but it looks very nice. Let's check out the storage. So this whole thing is storage and it is quite deep. It's not super tall, but that's okay. And it's accessible. So I like that. Um, down here, you get some storage as well. Ooh, and their drawers. Okay, I love that. So they're fairly deep and their drawers. Can you access it from under here? No. So that is, that is probably one of my most favorite ways to have storage under there. Uh, of course you get carpet and you get uh, the vinyl floor. I don't love carpet, but that's a norm for a slide. Back here is more of the same kind of storage. Do you want it to be closet? Do you want it to be pantry? Whatever you like, it works. Down here, is just an access to, uh, I believe it's a water filtration system. You do have electric and you do have more access on this side. Then you get a big fridge. You know me, I'll figure out how big. But it's pretty darn big. I like it. Then, if we move around to the rest of the kitchen, you get a, let me see, three burner propane stove with a cover, so that's nice. You get an oven. It's pretty deep, hey? That's a pretty big oven, I think. I hope I can find out for you the exact dimensions of that. You get a microwave. Way the heck up there. <laughs> that is not... <laughs> A good space for me. I can't even see in there. You know I'm gonna have something hot on my head. I love this window. You do get the uh, Corian hard surface countertop with the counter extension, so I love that. I also want to show you how much countertop is over here because that's very nice. Plus it's in a very conversational kind of space. Let's take a look at the thing. Split, loving that, covers, um, stainless undermount, nice size. The top is pretty good. You know, I've seen them more rounded, but I don't think it needs to be. This has got quite a bit of space. What I like about these covers as well is that this one's slatted, so you can run water over there if you needed to. What else? Oh, over here. Oh, well, let's talk about these drawers. So this one is just to put your sponge and things in, and then you get three. Um, so they're, they always make the drawer fronts bigger than the sides to make us think that they're bigger than they are, <laughs> but they're big enough. This one is more accurate as far as the depth goes, and so is that one. And they're on the metal roller glide, so that's nice. And then on the other side, there is more. So come with me. You've got your electrical, you've got your management system for your tanks, your slide, all of that. I love this location. <laughs> totally reachable for us. Um, here is your entertainment and you get two more drawers. I love that. So that's great. You also get in this particular model, not all of the Rockwoods, but in this one, you get your heat ducting going through the uh, furniture. So that's nice. Now, what else? Let's go check out the bathroom. Come. Okay. So this is a fairly decent sized bathroom. The standard uh, shower pieces going down. They're the standard uh, clip together type of things. Um, the base, rounded glass. So that's all nice. Your fixtures are standard for this level of trailer. Oh, this has the um, recirculating water so that when you're um, 
a boondocking or something like that and you're not necessarily having hookups you don't waste water waiting for the warm to come make it through the pipes to get to you i love that feature so it does have that i'm trying to think it's an uh, aquamizer or i'll figure that out for you for sure because i want to say that right you do get fan you get ac ducting you get storage oh that's pretty good storage for a bathroom and remember we're in a little trailer so i like that you get a dometic um i think that's a porcelain toilet plastic seat foot flush and then you get let's go up here first more storage there with an appropriate um mirror spot place to put your towel a switch for the light because i'm never reaching that I really like this shelf. I've seen it in a couple of different units. It just adds to countertop space because this really doesn't have that much space around the sink. Decent sized sink, as you would expect, taps. Um, laminate with a seam, not my favorite. Electrical and smaller, but it's there. You got some storage. I mean, this bathroom already has a lot of storage. So that's pretty good. And then floor space in here, I think is roomy enough. You could walk out there and get changed and dressed if you wanted, but I do think that this is fairly roomy for us. We'd be fine with it. So this trailer looking up also has a 15,000 BTU ducted AC. Um, and then there's also a Wi-Fi uh, booster and things like that. Another thing you wanna consider when you're purchasing any RV is what it's like when the slide comes in so this particular slide has this dinette and the small closet in it when it comes in because it is quite a deep slide it's going to come into about here so when you come in the door you'll be able to scrunch past the counter you'll be able to use your sink and your stove and your microwave you'll probably be able to get into your bathroom uh, what you won't be able to get at is your refrigerator or your pantry You'll be able to use your dinette. I think the bed is gonna come out to, yeah, I think the bed would be caught up just sort of right in this space. So I'm not thinking you'll be able to use the bed, but you can make this down into a bed. So the point is, when you're stopped at a rest area or a Walmart and you're not pulling out your slides, what can you access? Again, you might be able to pull that fridge open just a little wee bit to stick your arm in there, but nothing from the pantry. You'll be able to sleep on this bed, you'll be able to get into the bathroom, and you would be able to use your kitchen. So, depends on you. What about that couch folded down? Is that not like a bed? It could be, you know. Yeah. Let's just take a look at that. Right? Like if you wanted to, you could probably sleep on that, although it's that really tight. Really tight with the slide. Next, we've got the numbers on the Rockwood Mini Light uh, 2104S. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 4,841 pounds with a cargo carrying capacity of 1,933 pounds. So you need to put those two together to determine what your truck uh, has to be capable of pulling. The uh, dry hitch weight, 614 pounds. The length is actually 22 feet, four inches. The width is 96 inches. The height with the AC on top is 131 inches. The interior height is 80 inches. The fresh water capacity, 58 gallons. Gray water capacity is 30 gallons and the black is also 30 gallons. Now, that Murphy bed, when it pulls out, is a uh, 60 by 74 inch bed and then that whole dinette when it makes down is 44 by 85. So, oh yeah I wanted to tell you about I still haven't figured out the size of the fridge but I'm working on that. You get a 55 amp converter. You get a uh, 20,000 BTU ducted furnace. You get a 13,500 BTU ducted air and it is an option to move that up to 15,000 if you so choose. 
Look what I found. Here's the price at the Jacksonville RV show today at the Campers Inn RV. You can get the Rockwood Mini 2104S for $24,888. So if this is the one you're looking for, it's here. And that's everything on this really cool, small, lighter trailer. If you've liked it, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Check one of the links at the end to get to the nuts and bolts construction or another tour or come along on an adventure. We'd love to have you. Thanks for watching.